Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Servicing. Today I want to talk about the differences between extrapolate, which is in generative shape design, and extend, which is in freestyle. And I want you to understand the very differences. So here what I've done is I've created a surface, and then I've just simply drawn a line on that surface, and I did a split. Then I did an intersect on that initial surface, and then I put a porcupine analysis on it to show you that, what, basically what's happening here. Now, at this point, I'm going to go in and do an extrapolate. With this extrapolate, if I pick this edge going with this surface and I drag it out, you'll notice it extrapolates that surface, and this is a tangent extrapolation. Now, here, I'm going to do an intersect. I want to intersect this surface to that plane and I want you to notice the difference in the curves. Here, let me change the color of this intersect so uh, we know increase the thickness a bit, there we go we know what's going on. So you can see the original surface took a turn down whereas this new surface, this extrapolation from that point where I began the extrapolation uh, is linear. It's a tangent extrapolation. If I double click on that and I change this to curvature, select OK, you'll notice that at that point, right at the very end, they lay right on top of one another. And the reason why this works out is because um, the system remembers this area that was trimmed away. If I show the original, a curvature extrapolation is going to bring back the original untrimmed base type element up to that point. Now if I extend this out any longer I keep going with it you'll see all right the curve keeps following keeps following keeps following until the very end. Now if I do a porcupine analysis on this notice that right at that point where the surface is new, where it's no longer uh, based off of the original, it begins to go linear. You can see that there is a shape change. All right. It's still curvature, it's still clean per se, but it starts to go linear. And the further out that I go with this extrapolation, uh, a little too far, let me go back. There we go. You'll see that it begins to uh, converge, and um, it it's no longer curvature, or I shouldn't say curvature. It's no longer uh, following the curvature of the surface, right? It's now starting to go linear, and the further out that I go, the flatter it's going to get. That's just the nature of the extrapolation here in V5 and in V6. Now, um, if I come in, let me go ahead and hide that. Hide this one and hide that. If I come in now and want to do an extend, okay, so this is the original split that I did the extrapolation off of. If I come in here now and go into shape freestyle and you'll notice that I have what's called uh, extend. If I come in here and pick that surface, the first thing it's going to do is say a surface 2 has been created because the original element is a feature result and cannot be modified. So what it does is it makes a new surface because I can't extend off of a feature. It has to have a base element of its own, a non-feature-based uh, element, NURB surface, basically. And then the second thing it warns me about is it's a trimmed element. Trimmed elements are not allowed. So first, the extend can't do the extend because... Uh, it, it's a feature, needs to create a NURB surface, and then the second reason is this is a split. Trimmed elements cannot be used. So if I do an untrim, per se, it takes me back to the original base element. Okay, so there's my original base. There's no difference, as you can see. Now, if I do my extend on that, it's going to come back with that warning. Well, I can't do anything with that untrimmed surface. I have to convert it to a NURBS surface. So that's the one thing about the extend is, is that it has to use a NURBS element. Now when I do the extend, what I want you to notice is, is that it follows along with the actual true curvature of the surface. So if I do another, uh, let me just take this intersect that I used before, change it from extrapolate one, put it on this surface, hit OK, 
and hide show that you'll notice that the curvature on this is beautiful right this is following the natural shape of the surface all right it's not like where it was before let me hide show the original uh, let me go back out there we go here's the original okay you can also see that there's a divergence from the extrapolation to the extend like I said it follows along where there was once material the trimmed away area but once there's no material it starts to go flat or linear right? it's still curvature continuous and you can see the divergence as the, the further that you go out now if I switch that intersection and put it back to this surface preview that you can see what happens to those porcupines they look absolutely beautiful they follow along the natural curvature of that surface now if I take and let me go back into uh, generative shape and I'm gonna do um, extrapolate I'm gonna extrapolate this surface and uh, it's gonna be curvature do the whole thing all the way around hit OK and once again I'm gonna modify that intersection and this time I'm going to pick this extrapolated surface and preview that you can see once again I have that telltale break and it comes down again it's still curvature but you can see that there is a, a definitive difference on whoops here uh, let me go more my menus for some reason are giving me some guff. Let me see if I can bring it out over here. Off of, eh, there we go. Uh, let me go to radius and pick that and go back to curvature and pick that. There we are. Well, that's as good as I can get. For some reason, I'm having a graphics issue. That's not a big deal. I'll have to fix it later. But you can see I still have my uh, issue with it kind of flattening out a bit. You can really see it exaggerated on the back end over here. Um, so there's the differences between the extract or the uh, extend and the extrapolate. Both are great tools. Um, each are kind of limited in what they do. Uh, if you need something with history, obviously the extrapolate is the way to go. If history is not that big of a deal, well then do an untrim and then use your extend to get the natural flow of the surface. A curve is, does exactly the same thing if you're doing the same thing with a curve. So uh, just go and be careful with how you use these tools. Um, uh, typically I do extrapolate because I'm looking for parametrics but if I'm looking for styling real true styling intent I will do a, an untrim and then I will do an extend and then I'll use that extended surface as a uh, as a reference to build up against all right so um, it's both are great tools don't I'm not trying to put one down or the other down both are extraordinary tools but uh, just be careful with how you use them. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you learned anything and share with your friends.